everybody, Jonathan here with another Twin Motion video. Now we're going to be looking at the new 2022.2 new libraries for things like the people. Uh, the Finally going to take another look at the Sketchfab integration which is just awesome. I've been really enjoying that. For, and we're going to finish off with this super high res images. So make sure you stick around for the whole video and if you're new around here please subscribe. Enjoy the video everybody and thanks for watching. Okay, so one of the other big new updates is to do with the people. So if you go into the character libraries and go to humans, um, you're going to notice within the post humans, this has now been divided up into categories to make it a lot easier to find the appropriate sort of libraries that you're looking for. So when you drag them in for the very first time, the object gets created. And then the subsequent time you drag it in, it'll be a lot, lot faster. You'll notice that if I drag the same group of people in again, I think that's them, you can see they come in almost instantly the second time. Um, okay, but the other really cool thing is, if you go back to the library, if you actually type in the word post, then what you notice is you actually get access to all of the libraries. So it's actually a really nice little tip so that you can actually see all of the people in one go. Um, now it is a bit hard to identify what the new ones are from the old ones um, so that's just something you'll need to play around with but really honestly out of all the rendering software now I think Twinmotion has by far the biggest and best library of people and these are just the posed ones. We've also got the animated ones as well back in the uh, animated library as well. Now I don't see any changes to these, these still look the, like the old ones I don't know, but we'll see. I wouldn't be surprised if these are the ones that are due for the next big update. And that's because some of the criticism around the animated people is they looked a bit sort of, um, well, maybe not so realistic. But you know, the beauty is you can make them pose and do various things, have different activities. And that is really, really valuable when you're doing your animations. So I like the pose people for the animations, for the stills rather, and the um, single people, the animated people for the animations. They do look absolutely fantastic, particularly when you get the path trace render on. They're very realistic. Let's just zoom in and have a look. Really high quality assets, um, as you can see. So very, very good actually for 3D people. So another really nice update in Twinmotion 2022.2. So another really nice feature of 2022 is the addition of some excellent new libraries. Now, if you go to libraries and living room, you'll notice there are a couple of new folders. We've got entertainment and toys and games. So for example, we can just drag and drop some really, really cool uh, new items from that library. And these are just a few of them. I've clicked a few of my favorites here. So let's just drag a few of those in just to show how easy it is to prop your model out. Um, so yeah, some really, really cool stuff here that are really good addition to the new version as well and a uh, nice little pram and so on there as well. So those are really cool, the toys and games. It also, if you go back to the library, let's go to objects, go to home. We've also got some really cool additional new items for outside as well. So as well as things like some outdoor tables, which are really, really nice. Let's just drag in a couple of these. Don't forget you've got to download them first. So in order to do that, you just need to sign in. So in order to do that, you just need to sign in with your Epic Games account. And once that's uh, loaded in, then you can basically download the item. And I would always recommend favoriting it as I've said before. That just makes it a lot easier for you to find the item. When you drag and drop it in, it just loads in, and there we go. So really, really high quality assets that are available. And um, what else have we got? So we go back to uh, kids and games. There we go, There's some nice little objects in here. Let's have a little look. Trampoline always goes down well. <laughs> Definitely had one of these when I was a kid growing up, and uh, quite good fun. So you can see these are really high quality assets. I mean, look at the resolution of that sort of uh, chains on that. Really, really excellent. So really, you know, these are brilliant new libraries that we can work with to enhance our project as well. So the next new feature is now down on the uh, mode bar. We've basically got the move with collision and also a gravity button. Now, what do these do? Well, okay, so to demonstrate this, I'm gonna basically drag in um, some blocks here and drag those onto the scene. I'm gonna hold shift down and just make a few copies of those blocks. 
And if I go to number and just put in maybe three copies, you can see I've got a pile of the blocks there. Now, if I go over to the uh, scene graph and select those blocks, there's a button here, a new button called Gravity. And basically, it's really cool. When you click that button, the blocks basically fall down and essentially go to the top. So I'm not sure why that one didn't fall. Let's just see if that one will work. Okay. As you can see, for some reason those didn't all fall, but now when I actually click on them, basically they drop down. So basically they drop down and there's this sort of rather clever little kind of bouncing and collision um, so that these basically, these elements form a fairly sort of randomized situation. So this is really good when you want to kind of like create um, things that look a bit more natural. You know, it's actually quite hard work to place all these things randomly in that way. So that's something that I think will be really good for things like landscape and so on as well. It's funny how they sort of move around. I quite like that feature. But we turn off the gravity, uh, they just kind of reset back to normal. So once again, you just click the gravity button and they basically drop down. And then when you click on these individual objects, you'll see that they will drop down as well. So I think it's a very useful feature. I'm looking forward to seeing how the community use this uh, to make their images just a li little bit more realistic as well. So one of the other major new features of this version, of course, is the Sketchfad libraries. Now I've covered this in a few of my other videos, but really just once again, just to touch on that, the Sketchfad libraries just to open up the opportunity for some amazing new assets. All you need to do, if you would like to, just click on one of those, for example, and click Open in Sketchfab. That makes you uh, have a quick look at the model, it means that you can actually view the asset in its full glory. Have a look at the information and do make sure that you copy the credit and make sure you read the licensing. So it's very important that you actually need to have a look at the licensing and see who you need to actually credit when you do the project. So with that, I'm going to go back to Twinmotion. I'm going to drag in that lovely Porsche. There we go. And let's just rotate that round. Absolutely fantastic. Looks really great. And basically, we can play around with some of those colors as well. Just darken that down a little bit. That looks really cool. Oh, absolutely amazing. So um, the Sketchfab library, really, really fantastic addition. And if we just go back into it, you'll just see it's absolutely vast. There's literally 700,000 objects here that you can choose from. At the moment, I'm only really looking at just a small sample. And once you scroll to the bottom, you'll notice it delays for a while and then it will just load in more assets as well. So I recommend having a really good look around these quality assets from the community. Okay, so one more feature that I just really want to focus on is the high resolution images again. Um, so what we need to do to do access this is basically let's choose the image that we're interested in. Go to image and let's click create image. Now, once you've done that, you can basically go to more and you'll notice that we've got a new format section. So what I really like about this is we've got a couple of options in here. We've actually now got 2K, 4K, 8K and 16K, which is absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to choose a 16K image. Uh, and if I do need, want to choose 16K, do remember you've got to turn on the tiled rendering. When that's turned off, by the way, the limit will be 8K. So you'll notice that 16K is there, but you can't access it. You can't go higher, but once you turn this one on, then you'll be able to go to 16K and potentially right up to 64K, which is fairly extreme. Okay, good. So let's just move forward a bit uh, to access a nice view. I'm gonna go through and save that image. Let's just quickly do a little update. And without further ado, let's just go through and render up uh, that one view and click Start Export. So in just really a very short space of time, um, the estimated time nearly always drops from what it thinks it's going to be at the beginning. We should have a fantastic render. When it's done, it will report back in our statistics panel how long it takes. So what we'll do, we'll come back in a moment and see how long this render will take in 16K format. And then we'll look at the resolution that it gives us. So as you can see everybody, the render's now finished. If we go to the statistics panel, what we can now do is we can get a look at how long it took. And it only took three minutes 58 to generate a basically 16K, 250 megabyte file. 
So I've just about managed to open this up in my image viewer and look at that. We've just got the amazing endless resolution that we can just keep scrolling in. So basically, if you really want to render these high res images like super high res, uh, Twinmotion can now do this. I mean, it can render up to 64K, which is just insane. I mean, the only problem with that is your file size will be huge. So 16K, this is great resolution. Look at the detail on that trampoline, that mesh and that alpha channel there working really, really well. So I really recommend you try the new high res renders. Now, I just wanted to take this opportunity to highlight my book, Revolutionize Your Rendering with Twinmotion. This is a beautiful 320 page fully illustrated PDF and ebook that's available for you to buy in uh, on the store and it features some of the best featured artists from all over the world. So if you want to learn more about Twinmotion take a look at the book and I really hope you enjoy reading it and thanks for watching.